Well, welcome. We're in Carmel, Indiana tonight for the Noblesville Millers uh, versus the Carmel Greyhounds. And uh, alongside of me tonight is Jack Russell. Welcome, Jack. Hey, it's an uh, exciting night for basketball here tonight. Absolutely. And, uh, of course, this is a legendary gym here, the Eric Clark Center uh, here on the campus at Carmel High School. Uh, many great players have come uh, through these uh, hollow halls of, of Carmel, Indiana. And uh, the Noblesville Millers are uh, coming in here tonight one and one along with the Carmel Greyhounds being one and one. Absolutely. And I think, you know, coming off of their first loss of the season, both are looking to regain that momentum uh, going into the rest of the season here, early in the season, of course. Yeah, you know, uh, early on, uh, of course, you know, preseason polls are – uh, really for just people like you and I to debate <laughs> back and forth and uh, all of our colleagues in the business about uh, who's the best, who's going to be the best. But uh, we both know that uh, all that matters is in March when you're uh, oh, absolutely. Uh, down at uh, uh, Banker's Life. Uh, those final four teams and then the final two teams is what makes the difference. Oh, absolutely. And I think, you know, you kind of have your own little rivalry here, Carmel Noblesville. Uh, not that too, not far apart from each other, but uh, you always know that you're going to play some good basketball when you play Carmel and Noblesville. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, of course, uh, last night's game, uh, both, you know, this is kind of interesting, Jack, is because normally uh, you don't play the Lawrence Centrals, the Fishers, the Carmels, the Noblesville games this early in the season. Right. Because you're only in the second game here. And uh, here tonight, uh, uh, and also you don't normally play a back-to-back -back this early in the season. <laughs> right. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of legs he, these kids have tonight by this being only their third game of right. the season. And both of them are coming off of pretty difficult teams. You have yeah. Fishers, Noblesville, uh, and then, of course, you have Lawrence Central against Carmel. So two teams that they had to play yesterday that are pretty tough opponents and now all of a sudden one's got to play Noblesville, one's got to play Carmel. That's that's a lot to handle in two days. Yeah, but you know that's what coaches want to see and that you know and that 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 challenges your team and it gives you you know let's face it here in uh, early December it really doesn't matter. I oh, mean, you absolutely. know you you want to win them all but after you lose the first one you right. know it, it, <laughs> so and I'm not sure that, uh, you know, history proves that uh, there's not been many undefeated teams that go all the way through right. and then uh, win a state championship. So The uh, uh, Lawrence Norths of the world with Greg yeah, Oden, Mike yeah, Conley. Yeah. Uh, those are far and few between. So Yeah, and the one thing about it is I, I think it's pretty well set up. Last night, Carmel played Lawrence Central and, and faced a young man by the name of Kyle Guy, which is – one of the better ball players in oh, the yeah. state of Indiana, and he's going to be a great one. Uh, Noblesville battled arch rival Fisher's Tigers last night to a 58-54 loss. Uh, uh, Carmel lost 75 to 51. Uh, the first game of the season, Carmel won. They they beat Zionsville, okay, which is always a uh, a pretty uh, good ball club, but uh, Zionsville did lose. Uh, a couple of their key players uh, through graduation, but they won that first game 57-53, and then uh, Noblesville uh, uh, beat uh, uh, Northwest 71-49 yeah. to the first game. So this is going to be kind of interesting. Carmel's already back on the floor. Uh, it's sticking off less than a minute here, and here come the Millers. They're there coming they back out. Yeah, this will be interesting for Millers because two away games against two, ever since Fishers, you know, became a high school, that slowly became a rivalry between Noblesville and Fishers. Um, so Noblesville at Fishers, Noblesville at Carmel. It'll be interesting to see. Obviously, we want to see what we get at the very beginning of the year like you talked about, but it's a good good road test. Well, you know, when you're a, a person like you and in shape, uh, <laughs> you can almost, uh, you know, when you talk about Westfield, you talk about Fishers, you talk about Southeastern, Carmel, and Noblesville, you can almost walk to those games, you know. <laughs> may take you a little while. Take me a little bit longer than it take you, but but you could. You know what I mean? Oh, so, absolutely. And, and the way AAU ball set up today, you know, these kids, there's no surprises out here tonight. No. We know who's going to be the players. 
We're getting ready to do uh, the introduction here.
that's what it sounds like. Well, we just heard the starting lineups here. Uh, both games getting ready to tip off and uh, nothing more exciting than to be at the Eric uh, Clark uh, Center here and uh, get ready to uh, see some basketball. Many great games have been played here uh, uh, here against Carmel and Noblesville and uh, hopefully this will be a great one here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we got the starting lineup and we're getting ready to do the tip off. Here we go. Flamey on against Kaiser, jumping center here. Flamey on for Carmel, Kaiser, Noblesville. Noblesville gets possession. Flinch him with the ball. Pass over to Kaiser. Kaiser over to Plummer. Ginther with the pick. Gets it back over to Kaiser. And we got a foul. Looks like the foul's on number 31, Preston Flamion. Flamion got 18 points last night, so oh, yeah. uh, uh, they don't certainly don't want to get him in foul trouble. He's a he's a veteran player uh, for the Greyhounds. So Brown at the top of the key. Brown drives, it's up and it's gonna be a foul on the play. Looks like McGuire Plummer. So Brown going to the line shooting two. Plummer picks up his first foul. Jack Sterling Brown got 11 points last night in their loss. First one up and in. Well, you had said, yeah, 18 points for Preston Flamion last game. He's the senior and uh, the junior, Sterling Brown, number 10. Second one's no good. Plummer's the quarterback on the football team and also <laughs> out here on the basketball floor. Hey. He's the point guard. Uh, you'll see a lot of plays go through uh, uh, McGuire Plummer. That's a good leadership. Looks like they're going to call him pretty tight here tonight. Ball on the baseline. Plummer to inbound. Looks, looks, looks. Finally gets it over to Ogden. Plummer back at the top of the key. Back to Ogden. Ogden is senior for the Millers this season. Uh, he's kind of paid his dues and uh, got an opportunity to start for the Millers this year. Fletcher can hit the three now. No, no he's good. Off this time. Brown bringing the ball up to the court. Back over to o And we've got it back over to Oliphant. Oliphant drives, kicks it back out. It's good by Sam Oliphant for three. So the Greyhounds take the lead here, three to nothing. Three nothing. No, four to nothing. I'm sorry, four, free yeah. throw. <laughs> so Flincham back down to Plummer. Plummer gets it back up to the top of the key. Passes over to Kaiser. Kaiser sees nothing, gets it back over to Ogden. Ogden drives, kicks it back out. Ogden. Ogden to uh, Kaiser. The Carmel be keying on Kaiser. The first game he got 31. Last night he, he got 20. Kaiser with the shot, no good. Brown brings the ball up to court. Kicks it back out. It's up. Shot attempt by o uh, Oliphant. Sam Oliphant, number 31. Plummer on the rebound for the Millers. The ball down low to Ginther. Ginther kicks it back out to Kaiser. Kaiser over to Plummer. Back over to Flinch and Flinch him for three. No good. 
Miller seemed a little nervous here starting off, uh, Jack. Can't get their shots to fall. Yeah, they, they have some opportunities, some pretty good three-point opportunities the last couple times down the floor. So hopefully they'll uh, see if they can start to get those working. Flaming on over to Oliphant. Oliphant back to Brown. Brown running the offense. Back over to Oliphant. Heads it down low to Berry. Berry back out to Brown for three. No good. And we got a foul here. That's going to be on McGuire Plumber. That's going to be his second foul. And the uh, free, free throw shooter will be Preston Flamion. And that's what we're probably going to see here throughout the night is the size difference between Carmel and Noblesville and how much that will have an effect on tonight's oh, game. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So number 12, Corby Mertens into the game for the Millers. Plumbers picked up his second foul here early, so Flamion gets his second free throw. Carmel's up six to nothing with 4.33 left to go in the first quarter. Kaiser down to, uh, looks, looks like 22, looks like uh, Flincham. Kaiser at the top of the key. Setting up the offense. Kaiser looks, kicks it out to Flincham. Back to Kaiser. Kaiser's got some good moves. He's a good one-on-one -on -one player, so. Yes, he is. Ogden batted out of his hand. Mertens pick it up. Ogden with the ball. Tried to get into Kaiser. Brown Stolen by steal. Brown. It's going to be an easy one. Easy layup by uh, Fallender. That's going to be a timeout for the Millers. Kaiser is getting up slowly. He'll be all right. He's, uh, well, with 349, uh, the Carmel Greyhounds have jumped out to eight to nothing uh, lead here right off the bat. And they're what, putting a lot of pressure on Kaiser. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and the one thing about it is, and, and we know in watching Scott Hetty and what he does at Carmel, they're a tremendous defensive team. I mean, they they uh, they lace them up. We're sorry we're having some technical difficulties because the internet is. We're sorry that we're having internet problems, and so we'll be, uh, sometimes it'll kick us out, but just restart it and, uh, and we'll be back on the air again. But we got uh, internet problems here at, uh, at Carmel. Flinching with the ball. Mertens trying to get it to Kaiser. Kaiser with the ball for three, and it's good. So Miller's on the board with for three for Kaiser. Scores eight to three. Uh, Carmel Greyhounds with 3.15 left to go here in the first quarter. Brown with the ball. Drive by Fallender, and it's good. Number 21, Alex Fallender with the layup. That's Fallender's fourth point for uh, the Carmel Greyhounds here. Mertens bringing the ball up the floor. Gets it over to Genther, back out to Kaiser. Kaiser down to Mer Mertens. Oh, falls on the pass. Flinch him for three. He's got it. It's good. Only two. Only Calling it a two. two. So Fallender bringing the ball up the floor for the Greyhounds. Kicks it back out to uh, Flamion. Flamion over to Oliphant. 
Brown back over to Olofen. Brown looks for the pick, gets it back out to Flamion. Flamion kicks it back out. Brown at the top of the key, kicks it back out to Fallender. Drives down the middle of the lane. Shot up and good by number 31, Preston Flamion for three. That's a 13 to five lead here with a minute 40 in the first for the Greyhounds. Mark's all in the game for the Millers. Kaiser shot up. Kaiser and up and good. Great job by Kaiser. Kaiser's got some great moves around the basket. He can, he can penetrate. So Brown drives. It's up. Charge. Charge on Brown. Great job there by number 40, Nolan Ginther with the charge. We're seeing some subs here by the Millers. Yeah, it looks like uh, coming in for the Millers is Grant Bullard, number 45, and Nick Mills, uh, number five, coming in. Uh, Coach McCulley trying to uh, see if we can get a combination here that uh, he can put some points on the board. So uh, we got Barthol, Bullard, Mills, uh, Mertz, and who else we got there? I guess that's it, right? Yep. Oh, Kaiser. Yeah. Can't forget him. Kaiser up and good. That's seven points for John Kaiser. He's he's limping a little bit. Yeah, he'll he uh you'll see that. So Fallender setting up the offense for the Greyhounds. Kicks it back out to Merriweather. Merriweather looks, gets it to Brown. Brown for three, no good. Rebound by Kaiser. Once again, folks, we're having a little bit of internet problems, so uh, just be patient with us and uh, here at uh, Carmel uh, with the issues on internet, uh, just uh, Keep trying, and uh, we'll be right back on. It just cuts in and out. Grant Bullard with the, the shot attempt. Got a foul there. And he'll be shooting two with one second left in the first. Alex Fallender, that's two on him. Well, great utilization of a timeout. You're down by eight points. Almost, well, I think it was almost 10 oh. points. It's <laughs> a close one. Ogden come uh, back in the game, uh, giving uh, Kaiser a little bit of a break. Second one up and good for Grant Bollard. Carmel looks, throws it down. Fallender, Fallender up and no good. <coughs> So after one, we have the Greyhounds leading the Millers 13 to 10. So you're right, uh, the Millers called a timeout, made some adjustments and stuff, and uh, they're right back in this ball game. Uh, I wanna thank our sponsors here, uh, uh, Community Health Network, Church, Church, Church Hiddle and Anthrum. The Farmers Bank. The Walford Theater, Ivy Tech, and Indiana Restoration Services, Noblesville Trophies, and Logan Street Signs. We couldn't do what we do if it wasn't for our great sponsors, and we appreciate every one of our sponsors. You know, uh, pretty good first quarter. It looked like it was going to get out of hand there a little bit, Jack, but... Uh, the Millers uh, called a timeout, came battling back, and uh, for the first quarter score, it's Carmel 13, Noblesville 10. Yeah, I think at the time uh, during that timeout, coaches probably they probably had some nerves, probably getting you know it's obviously playing Carmel, one of your rival teams, trying to tell them, okay, you're getting good shot attempts, let's slow down a little bit, let's make them work, and so they kind of came out of that, and we got got ourselves a ball game. 
And we're sticking with that same lineup uh, as we left the, the first quarter here. Uh, we have Ogden, we have Mills, Barthol, uh, Mertz, and uh, Bullard. Brown with the ball. Looking for, got a double team, gets out of the double team, gets it over to Merriweather. Merriweather gets it back over to Richardson. Over to Brown. Brown over Flamion. Down low to Richardson. Double team in the corner. Gets it back out to Jenkins. Ooh, and it charge. looks like we have a blocking Ooh, call. Wow. That was a close one there. Yeah, it was. That was. Oh, well. So a blocking call on looks Grant like Bullard. 45. Yep, Grant Bullard. It's going to be ball on the baseline. Brown to inbound the ball. It's having a tough there. There, there we go. Flamion with the ball. Drives, shoots, and it's nice, good. Nice roll uh, for Flamion. So Mills bringing the ball up the floor. Gets it over to Plummer. Or excuse me, Ogden. Flamion's got uh, five, seven points. Mills with the ball. Driving. Shot up and good, Nick Mills for two. Great job by Nick Mills. Good penetration there by Nick Mills. Jenkins with the ball for Carmel. Gets it over to Richardson. Richardson drives and it's out of bounds. It's gonna Must stay. have been hit off a of bullet. Yep. You know, Nick Mills, he has the Nick Mills show with uh, Nick and Brady and I think they're gonna be on Wednesday night at four o'clock. Is that not right, Jim? So they'll uh, come back this week with uh, their show and they talk NFL, college. They'll, they'll talk about it all. That's great. Brown with the ball at the top of the key. Gets it over to Barron. Barron back to Brown. Flamion with the ball. Drives, gets it back out to Brown. Merriweather drives, kicks it over to Barron. Barron drives and a charge. Yeah. They are fired up. Number 44, Brandon Barthel with the charge. Baron, that's his first foul. Timeout call on the floor. Carmel. Well, during the timeout, uh, I looked, you know, I got some statistics from the Carmel coach, uh, Scott Hetty and Brian McCauley. Um, Scott Hetty, 103 and 25 in his six years at Carmel. And of course, Brian entering his second year, 14 and 12, as the Noblesville coach. So, um, you know, both of them together, 10 plus years of experience, 21 for Hetty and 10 for uh, McCauley. Those are pretty good coaches. And, and, and quite, quite honest, uh, Coach McCauley had a great uh, career at Kokomo, not only as a as a player at Kokomo, right. but also as a coach up there when he came back. So, yeah. Uh, Those are always my fun facts. <laughs> Mertens with the ball. To Kaiser. Over to Mills. The Bullard, Mertens on a shot, it's up, no good. Rebound by Brown. Brown quickly moves the ball up the floor, over to Merriweather. Merriweather looks, looks, pick up his dribble, gets it over to Jenkins. Barron with the ball to Brown. Jenkins again, drives over to Merriweather. Merriweather slows it down, gets it to Brown. Brown drives, kicks it back out to Flamion. To Merriweather. Merriweather back to Flamion for three, and it's good. That's Flamion's second three pointer here tonight. So it's quick pass and shoot. And he's got 10 points. 10 of the 18 points for Flamion. Mills with the ball. Over to Kaiser. Back to Mills. The Merchant. 
in the Bullard. Big strong going up there, block. Substitution for the Millers. Bullard's going to go out. Flincham's coming back in for the Millers. Looks like Ginther's coming back in. Uh, he's coming in for Barthol. And it looks like Merriweather is out for the Greyhounds, and back in is Sam Oliphant, number 25. Both coaches subbing quite a bit. Yeah, and, they are. You know, in past history, Scott Henning's not a great subber. <laughs> he, he doesn't play many people. Of course, he also had Ryan Klein, so. Kaiser almost got the ball there. Brown wants to set up the offense. So Brown for, not for three, but he gets the two-pointer. And here come the Millers. 20, uh, 20 to 12 here. Greyhounds lead. Kaiser with the ball to Nick Mills. Ooh, almost stolen. Back out to Kaiser. Kaiser for three, no. Brown with the rebound. Moving pretty quickly down the floor. Barron's sets up the pick, doesn't want it. Brown, no good. Over the back on Barron. Yep. That was a good attempt though. Brown came from the rebound, brought it down, missed layup. That's Brown's second foul. Looks like Ogden's coming back in, probably for Merritt. So it's Mills, Kaiser, Ginther, Ogden, and Flincham. And for the Greyhounds, it's Jenkins, Flemion, Brown, Barron, and it looks like Olofsson. Kind of going with the smaller lineup on both ends. The Millers don't have a bigger lineup. <laughs> that, is, that is true. Kaiser, Got it's it. good. Watching him, you know, this is my first time watching T Kaiser. His ability to get the ball out quick yeah. is one of the, I mean, it's been so deadly tonight with 12 points. And he gets off the floor too. Yes, you know, he, does. he does. He's a, he's a good jumper. Now he's on Barron. Barron, that's, uh, that's three on Barron. Kaiser up, and it's good. So Fallender brings the ball up the floor for the Greyhounds. Kaiser has 11. And Flamion's got 10, so we got a... Right off the numbers of Brown, and it's the Miller ball. A little miscommunication there. Kaiser inbounds it to Mills. Kaiser again, drives, kicks it out. Gets it to Mills, Mills to Kaiser. Kaiser back over to Flincham, Flincham to Mills. Kaiser at the baseline, and it's good! Nice Art. nice pass in there by uh, Mills to yeah. get that ball Absolutely. in. Absolutely, good ball movement. Fallender trying to get the ball down the floor, showing pressure here by the Millers in the middle to Flamey on, no good. Rebound, oh. Miller, five for it, Mills. The five, seven, mighty might. <laughs> Mills has it at the top of the key. Over Mills the has got some extra minutes here tonight. Uh-oh. Oh. We got a push, it looks like the push is gonna be on Preston uh, Flamey on. And that's... that's that's second one on Flamian. A lot of them, uh, a lot of the key players we were talking about tonight in a little bit of a foul trouble. Yes. And it's good by Mills. Number five, Nick Mills has another shot remaining. It's uh, when I went to school at Noblesville, I got to play with Dusty Mills. 
Same kind of player. And he, he, he's exactly. Younger. Exactly. <laughs> He'll take the you on to a minute. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter if you were 6'5". Oh, good, good battle by Kaiser. He'll be on the floor. Number 23, Merriweather with the foul. That's Merriweather's first, I believe, yeah. Great hustle play by Kaiser. Yeah. Kaiser shooting a one on one here. Millers could tie it up here with it. Got That's it. Good. 2019. Kaiser with 13 of the 19 points. No go oh, in the no second. Good. So Brown to bring the ball up for the Greyhounds. Brown gets it over to Oliphant. Brown conducting the offense. Gets it over to Fallender. Fallender back to Brown. Brown, and it's good. That's the second time he's done that. And I think that's his spot, don't you? That's oh, where he I seems would, to like that. I would say so. He kind of conducted it, too. He kind of yeah. pointed. <laughs> Mills at the point. A little inexperience there on Nick's party. Uh, you know, he was listening to coach and stuff, but it goes back still Miller's ball. But uh, he's got to learn. Uh, he hasn't had a lot of varsity experience here. In fact, this is the most minutes he's had uh, at one time for the Miller so far this season and in his career. So, But he's doing a good job in there tonight. He's got three points for the Millers and, and uh, got a couple of assists. Mills to Kaiser. Mills over to Ogden. Ogden picks up his dribble, looks to Kaiser. Triple team to Kaiser. And it's gonna stay here. Yeah. You imagined yeah. it was only a, 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 you know, it had to eventually happen that you're gonna see double teams, triple teams on Kaiser. Oh yeah, I mean, when you when you, when a player's got uh, 13 and <laughs> 19 points, uh, you pretty well know uh, yeah. who they're gonna go to. <laughs> Whoa, man. Just a real miss. Miscommunication. Miscommunication there. Those kind of things hurt you in a, playing a great team like uh, the Carmel Grand. Great team in a close game. Very close game. 22-19 right now. Because, you know, in the preseason polls here, early here, Carmel's ranked number three. So. Sterling Brown, number 10 for Carmel. Bringing the ball up over to Fallender. Fallender quickly to Oliphant, and it's good for two. That was a little slow on the Miller defensive part. Oliphant's got five points. First two in this quarter, though, trying to get it to Kaiser. Seeing a lot more pressure by the Carmel defense. Over to Kaiser. Kaiser got the double team over to Ogden. Somebody on this Miller team's got to hit a shot to yes, get the do. pressure off of Kaiser. Mills to Ogden. Right but now. until they hit that three-point shot, you know, and, and bring them out a little bit, they can sag back on the Millers in that zone and then squeeze uh, when they try to get Kaiser the ball, double and triple team them. I think the Millers may be going for one shot here. Yep, 23 seconds left in the second. Mills has the balls, holding it. Mills has done a pretty good job uh, in here at point guard this uh, second quarter. Not only scoring points, but actually doing those hustle plays. Yeah. Kaiser for three, no good. Oh, flinch him. Uh, off the so uh, Akeem Olajuwon hook yeah. is what that was. <laughs> so it's Carmel twenty four, Noblesville nineteen. All right, we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. Get you know, 
uh, when Margaret and I decided to sell the old estate here, we had uh, only one choice in signage. Logan Street signs and banners. Conveniently not located on Logan Street anymore, but rather located on 10th Street on the south side of Noblesville. Well, we sold the old beauty, and we were able to buy this wonderful estate. And we had so much money left over, I was able to buy this beautiful 1968 El Dorado Cadillac for Margaret. Only 472,000 miles. Margaret loves it because it's got those big seats and that heavy-duty suspension to support her svelte frame. Next time you're looking for signs or banners, call old Jim at Logan Street Signs and Banners, 773-7200. Conveniently not located on Logan Street anymore. She was very little, Taylor loved to play basketball. My dream was to play basketball in college. That day, she was having a great game. Then she landed after a rebound. When I saw her, I just felt sick. I knew right away that I had torn my ACL. A teammate recommended Shelbourne Knee Center. Their doctors and physical therapists have taken care of thousands of knees like mine. My dream came true. I'm going to be playing basketball at Huntington University. Shelbourne Knee Center, now part of Community Health Network. Everyone knows it's easy to find first-run movies in the big theaters. But where can you go to watch your favorite classic movies on the big screen for the perfect night out? Why rent a flick when you can rent the entire theater? Call today to reserve our 32-seat theater for your next event or just stop by to see what's showing this weekend. The 14 by 7 foot screen and the high quality digital surround sound system offers all the amenities you would expect from the big theaters with a laid back atmosphere and comfortable seating of your own home. Wofford Theater at 1744 South 10th Street in Noblesville gives you the classic movies you want with a big theater experience. Hello everybody, we're back here at uh, Carmel High School. We just saw a, a pretty great first half of basketball. Carmel leading 24-19 uh, over the Millers. Yeah, and it basically uh, for the Millers, uh, uh, John Kaiser 13 points uh, <laughs> of the Millers 19. Uh, uh, and uh, Nick Bills coming off the bench here. Yeah, uh, great job. He's got three points. Did a great job. Uh, uh, early on, McGuire Plummer got into foul trouble. Uh, he got two quick fouls in that first quarter. And that's set no, the rest of the time. And, and uh, Coach McCulley uh, has brought in Nick Mills. And uh, he's doing a great job here. So, you know, the one thing about it, uh, and, of course, uh, for uh, the Greyhounds, uh, uh, leading it is uh, Flamion, Preston Flamion, with uh, with ten points for uh, for the Carmel Greyhounds. So uh, it's a great game here this first half. Uh, some good points off uh, off Ellen uh, has uh, five. Uh, uh, so uh, you know we we've seen some pretty good basketball. Good job done by the point guard uh, uh, Sterling Brown, also oh, yeah. for the Greyhounds. He, he, uh, he controls that offense, and uh, he'll bring it back out and set it back up. So uh, Absolutely. It's, it's been kind of interesting here. Uh, you know, uh, looking at a couple things here, uh, why don't you go through our sponsors here and thank them uh, while we got a time here at the halftime. Absolutely. I want to thank some of our sponsors here tonight. Noblesville Trophies, Ivy Tech, Indiana Restoration Services, Church Church Hiddle and Antrim, 
Community Health Network, Smith Jewelers, and Logan Street Signs and Banners. We really appreciate all of our sponsors uh, throughout this basketball season. Yeah, we, we truly don't give them enough for credit because without them, uh, we wouldn't be here. Absolutely. Uh, they do a great job, and we've, we've been able to buy some nice equipment and stuff and, and trying to uh, bring you the best broadcast we can. Apologize for some of the Internet problems we are having here in, in the Carmel Gym here tonight. Uh, when you go with wireless, for some reason, uh, the hard wire didn't work up here at uh, on the mezzanine here at Carmel, so we've had to go wireless. So, uh, But we uh, we appreciate you sticking with us and uh, uh, through this. You know, the one thing about it, talking about uh, coming up here, you know, as that norm, boys basketball really doesn't get kicked off until they start doing those holiday tournaments right after. Uh, right, right. Uh, here and right around the holidays. Uh, but uh, Carmel's got some big games coming up here on uh, December 11th. They got North Central, okay? Uh, and in the uh, early season polls, uh, North Central is ranked number two. That'd be a good uh, game. Yeah. Then they play Pendleton Heights on uh, December 18th. And then December 19th, uh, they play uh, New Albany, which New Albany was uh, right now stands number one in the state. Yeah. So uh, – Coach Scott Hetty always plays uh, the best of the, the best. best. Of best and, yeah. and they, you know, uh, that's the way it is when you play at Carmel. Uh, you're going to play the best. Absolutely. For the Millers, uh, they have uh, December 12th, they'll play at Anderson. Uh, December 18th, they'll play at home against Westfield. That ought to be an interesting game because Shane Sumner has, has switched over from the girls' basketball program at Westfield to the boys. Right, so right. that should be pretty interesting there, and and he was a great coach in the girls' end, and I'm sure he will be in the boys' side. Yeah, too. it'll be fun to watch. And then also uh, Miller's play a rivalry uh, game on 12-19. Uh, That's a Amazon. hard one for me. Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if people don't know it, Jack's the only uh, <laughs> Russell that did not graduate from Hamilton High. So uh, oh. he graduated from Noblesville. So uh, I like we to, give him a hard time. I like to about apologize it. for all the Russells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for making those mistakes before me, right? <laughs> I don't think your granddad or your dad would appreciate that. Too no, much, they right? wouldn't. And they're probably watching this. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, uh, both teams are coming back out, uh, getting warmed up here uh, for the two minutes before we start this second uh, second half, and it, I'm sure it's going to be a good one. I would imagine that if you're in the Greyhounds locker room, they're saying that number 42 guy, we got to have, have put some bodies on him. That's right, and I think if you're probably in the Noblesville guy locker room, Coach McCulley's saying, guys. He can't do it all. Kaiser has got to have some help out there. We got to hit, you know, Max Fincham uh, has always been known for his three-point shooting, and uh, he's got to step up and, and hit some shots here uh, along with some of these other boy, uh, young men here. Uh, uh, Absolutely. Corby uh, Merchant's been averaging. Uh, he's the only other guy in double figures uh, uh, for the Millers this season, and uh, – he hadn't scored a point yet. So. Absolutely. You want to limit yourself from becoming one-dimensional. And I think that's something that we'll have to see who's the kind of person that's going to shine for the Millers uh, this second half. But on the Greyhound side, you look at Brown, you look at uh, Flamion. I mean, those are tiny, kind of your two top guys. Um, being able to control the ball and kind of play your pace for the Millers. Uh, don't let it get too fast or else you play into Carmel's hands. Yeah, it'll be interesting here in the second half to see if uh, if Coach McCulley stays with Nick Mills at yeah. the point guard or whether he brings McGuire Plummer back to run the show. Yeah, that'll be interesting. A little bit of foul trouble for, a, I mean, a, a lot of them here tonight. Yeah, uh, uh, Martin's got uh, three personal fouls. Uh, Flamion's got two. Uh, uh, for them, uh, yeah. Falander's got two, so yeah, they got they got to be really, really careful this first three or four minutes of this third quarter, or they're going to find themselves on the bench. <laughs> yeah. 
So we are. Our looks like uh, the Millers are going back with their starting lineup. That's what uh, it looks like. Ogden, Flincham, uh, McGuire, Plummer, Kaiser, and uh, Ginther. And you know that McCauley is thinking about that, though, with Mills and, and uh, the foul troubles that they have right now. Mills yeah. is able to, to come in there and be effective. So Yeah, it looks like Carmel's going with their same group. Yeah. Oh, Brown drives. Oh. And it's going to be a foul on Kaiser. Yeah. The power of the pump fake. <laughs> that's Kaiser's first foul for the Millers. Yeah, that's the uh, last thing they need is for him yeah, to get him in foul trouble. <laughs> You know, Brown's got a pretty quick move to the bucket, too. I mean, he uh, he does a good job there. He's a, a good point guard being able to dictate where he wants everyone to be. It's a, it's a good uh, good junior for Carmel. Carmel showing pressure here early on. Kaiser over to Plummer. Plummer runs the offense. Plummer trying to get some people in where he wants them right now. Over to Kaiser. The Ogden. Oh, Ali. Oh! oh! A great play there, but just couldn't make it fall on Kaiser's part. But that have fired this crowd up here. That would but have. At least the Noblesville fans. It would have been ESPN top ten. Yeah. <laughs> Brown over to uh, to Olafin. Olafin over to Flamion. Or definitely a hometown TV top ten. Yeah, absolutely. So Fallinger calling the offense. Gets it over to Olafin. Back to Brown. Brown kicks it back out. Olafin. Olafin drives. Intercepted by Flincham. McGuire Plummer with the ball. Plummer kicks it back out. Plummer back with the ball. He's going to set it back up. They saw success with the 2-3. The they know how to kind of maybe run something here. Ogden. Ogden, good. It. It's a three for Ogden. That's what we talked about going into this third quarter. Somebody else has got to step up and hit, and hit something. Yep. 26-22 with 6.08. Down to Flame, uh, oh, Flame, Flameon. Back over to Olefin. Olefin to Brown. Flameon at the top of the key. And back to Brown, and let's set up the offense. Uses Barry as a pick. Brown, and it's good. He likes that top of the post. Yeah, he does. Carmel showing pressure. Brown's got eight points, four here in the second half. Both teams trying to run their offense, Jack. Uh, both Carmel and Noblesville to try to get an easy bucket. No one seems to be in any hurry right now. There's Flincham for three, no good. And re re rebound by Brown. Brown asking for the ball back. He feels that he wants to set yep. something up here. He's gonna do that high post shot again. That's what he wants. Being the floor general, gets it to Brown. Brown's gonna get it. There's, he's trying to get That's that. That's what he's trying to get to. Brown back over to Fallender. Big shot there. Kaiser on a fast break. Yeah, Olefin. Pulls up, jumper, no good. Rebound by Flamion. Fallender quickly down the floor. Gets it back to Brown. Brown Brown's going to set it up. Absolutely. This is the kind of offense Coach Eddie likes to run. Play tough defense. Brown does a good job penetrating Jack. Yes, he does. That time he had to kick it back out. There just wasn't anything there. Both defenses going with the 2-3. Beery back out to Olefent. No good. Rebound, Rebound by Kaiser. Kaiser.
Jack, those uh, cross court passes scare the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm sure Coach McCauley feels that same way. Yeah. Kaiser, they're sagging on him with three there. No good. Had the shot attempt. And Brown's going to bring it up the floor. So right now, John Kaiser's shots are not falling, and that's why. Uh, and it's Flamion. good. Number 31, Preston Flamion with the two-pointer. Flamion's got 12. Uh oh, we I seen that one coming. Fallender. Foul. With the foul. Foul by Plummer. That's his third. That's the difference between a lob pass and a chest pass. Yeah. Yep. I mean you could see that. I mean <laughs> from up here, man, I could see that one yeah. coming. <laughs> Fallender's up and it's good. Subs coming in. Merchant coming in for uh, uh, Flincham. Who the Greyhounds have? Uh, looks like they, Merriweather came in. And we've got number 42, Trenton Richardson. Rebound by Plummer. So Noblesville setting up the offense. Mertens with the ball over to Ogden, to Kaiser. To Ogden, back to Kaiser. In the Ginther. There's Ogden. It's good. Ogden. So Miller's showing some pressure here. Back to Brown. Brown running the offense. Miller's at 2-3. Merriweather. Ogden second uh, three-pointer. Brown. No good by Brown. Merriweather drives. No call. Over to Kaiser. Kaiser looks, looks. Cross court to Plummer. And Ogden. Ogden. No, good. no good. He, he was feeling it. He was. And it would have put the Millers back in this ball game with that three. So Fallender over. Carmel's going to work for a good shot here right yep. now. Flamion back over to Brown. Brown for three. No good. Flamion. No, it's going to be a jump ball. It's going to be going to the Millers. Miller. Arrow goes to the Millers. And we've seen that twice down the floor with an offensive rebound, or at least a chance for an offensive rebound. That was a jump ball. Carmel called a full timeout here. 31-25 with 133 left in the third quarter. You know, the one thing about it is, uh, Jack, looking it over here to uh, uh, people who don't get enough credit, our uh, Noblesville and Carmel cheerleaders, uh, it, certainly it seems like we got more cheerleaders than we do basketball players. <laughs> that is very true. But uh, they do a great job here in uh, boosting the spirit of both schools and uh, hats off to those hardworking young ladies. Absolutely. Well, real fast out of this time, I'm going to thank some of our sponsors again. Yes, uh, yes. Noblesville Trophies, Ivy Tech, Indiana Restoration Services, Church Church Hiddle and Antrim, Community Health Network, Smith Jewelers, and Logan Street Signs and Banners. Thank you to all of our sponsors. As again, uh, we have the Carmel Greyhounds against the Noblesville Millers, and the current score with a minute 33 left in the third is 31-25 Greyhounds. One thing you talked about at the half, Jack, Coach Scott Hetty said, let's don't let 42 <laughs> score. Well, 42 hadn't scored this quarter either. <laughs> Greyhounds showing pressure over to Kaiser. Kaiser to Plummer. Again, showing pressure. It's a reach in call by uh, Fallender, number 21 for the Greyhounds. Number 
That's three on him. But they're in pretty good shape. They're at the end of the third quarter here, so probably won't see us. And uh, no, Coach Eddie's. Cross court to Mertens. Cross court again to Plummer. Plummer kicks it back out to Merchant. Kaiser with the ball. Trying to get the ball moving. Into Kaiser. Three guys on him. Pump fake drive. Shot. It's there good. John Kaiser finally gets a basket here in the third quarter. Scores 31. off a triple team. So Greyhounds, Brown with the ball. Over to Merriweather. Merriweather to Fallander. But right now, uh, actually, uh, the Millers have gained a point in this quarter. Of course, uh, Carmel has the ball for the last shot, but uh, even with uh, Kaiser only scoring two points. So the Millers uh, kind of dodged the bullet here a little bit. Uh, this is an important basket right here to see what the Greyhounds are going to do, and the Millers need to stop this this basket. And of course, the Greyhounds want to extend the lead. And Brown in his spot, do it. and he got it. Exactly where he wanted to go. A quick steal by Fallander, and it's good. Those are the kind of things that kill you. So in five seconds, they scored four points. But you knew that Brown, that's his spot. The high post shot right off a pick. That's where he wants to shoot the ball. He set it up exactly how he wanted it with time, with a couple seconds left. Pop the shot. Absolutely. And that, you know, the one thing about it is just like you said here, I mean, you know, it went from a, a five-point deficit to nine in, yeah. in a matter of five seconds. Yeah. Well, we're getting to start this fourth quarter here. Uh, why don't you read through the sponsors here real quick? Uh, Absolutely. Because we don't want to forget them. Yeah, we want to thank our sponsors tonight. We want to thank Ivy Tech, Indiana Restoration Services, Church Church Hiddle and Antrim, Community Health Network, Smith's Jewelers, Logan Street Signs and Banners, and Noblesville Trophies. I want to thank you to all our sponsors here tonight. You know, uh, Jack, in that third quarter, you know, the Millers didn't make many changes in the lineup either. No, a lot less subbing than we saw in the first half. Down to Richardson. Richardson still hustling for the ball. Gets it over to Brown. That's where this size of Carmel. Richardson. is a big, strong kid. Nice shot. Richardson, nice shot on the baseline. That's his first two points from uh, the big 6'8 boy. So Plummer with the, uh, with the ball at the top of the key. Over to Ogden. Ogden over to Mertens. Mertens to Kaiser. Kaiser looks, picks up his dribble, gets it to Plummer. Over to Ogden to Kaiser. No good. And it's going to stay here. Good hustle play by Cole Jenkins for Carmel Greyhounds. We got some substitutions here. Looks like Flinchum's coming in. And it looks like uh, Bullard's come back in, number 45 for the Miller. Bullard gives him that big, strong body inside. He's not real tall, but, uh, you know, he's got good size in there at 6'1", and uh, he can push some people around. Still in the 2-3 zone for Carmel. Mertens over to Kaiser. Kaiser to Mertens. Mertens down to Plummer. Plummer to Fletchum. No good. good. 
Rebound by the Greyhounds. Here comes Jenkins. Jenkins quickly down the floor to Brown. And Brown kicks Brown's it back gonna out. Brown's going to set it back up. He's going to look for that shot of his. A high post shot is what he's looking for. Gets it over to Jenkins. Jenkins looks. Gets it over Flamion. Flamion to Merriweather. It looks like the uh, Millers went back to uh, man to man. Flamion with the ball. Gets it over to Merriweather. Merriweather looks. Gets it over to Richardson. Richardson to Jenkins. Back out to Brown. To Jenkins. Jenkins only a sophomore. Miller showing pressure on the sophomore. Over to Merriweather. Back to Brown. Playing a little bit of keep away here. Merriweather. And we got a reach in call. Oh, maybe not. It looks like maybe a. Uh, That's four on Plummer. And that's when they're going to go to Nick Mills. Looks like Nick actually. Plummer's coming out. For Ogden. Ogden's coming in. Brown on the inbounds for Carmel. Out to Merriweather. Jenkins at the top of the key. Looks, looks. Gets it back over to Brown. Back to Merriweather. Merriweather drives. No good. Kaiser with the ball. He brings it down the floor. Gets it to Mills. Mills is going to the bucket. Foul on a play. Foul on number 42, Trenton Richardson. That's Richardson's first foul. Richardson is a 6'8 senior for the Greyhounds. One thing, Mills is not afraid <laughs> to go in that tall timber and he hits a, the wall of the big 6'8, Trent Richardson. That's a foot and an inch taller. Yeah. <laughs> Olafank comes back in for uh, Carmel. Merriweather come, goes out. Mills, and it's good. 37 29. Carmel leads. Brown with the ball. Miller showing pressure. Miller's with the double team. Back over to Olafant. To Jenkins. Back to Olafant. Miller's, Miller's showing to just chase lots of pressure here. Kaiser keeping Brown in front of him. Lob pass over to Flamion. Flamion to Jenkins, and it's good. That's the one bad part about playing that kind of defense there, uh, Jack, is if you can get somebody, there's somebody open, so you, you've got to get the ball to them. Kaiser has a double team, kicks it back out. Mills off the hands of Barthel. And Jenkins commanding the offense comes Brown. Brown passes it over to Oliphant. Oliphant with the double team. And it stays here. Great hustle play by Mills. Mills is showing us a lot of heart right here tonight, you know, and I mean, he, he's, uh, it seems like the Millers make things happen when Mills is in there. I think when you come from the Mills family tree, you know that Carmel's a team you want to beat. <laughs> so Carmel to inbound, Preston Flamion, number 31. 44, the foul is on uh, Brandon uh, Barthol. Over to Brown. 
Brown drives. Over to Jenkins. Jenkins cross court to Flamion. Flamion pump fakes, drives, kicks it over to Brown. Brown drives baseline. And it's intercepted there by Mertens. Mertens over to Kaiser. Kaiser Ooh, thought about it. Thought about it, didn't take it. Over to Ogden. Ogden back to Kaiser. Kaiser for two. No good. Mills in there battling. Mills in there battling. It's going to be the Greyhound ball. Three twenty-one left to play in the fourth. Carmel leads by ten. So yeah, ten point, ten point ball game here. Three twenty-one in the fourth. Carmel Greyhounds call a full timeout. Ten point difference. Uh, not much. You know, kind of a typical game that you probably think of a. Carmel Noblesville game, a lot of yeah. a defense, low scoring, uh, offense is both teams play a deliberate type offense. Right. They work the ball, make sure they get the best shot possible. Yeah, I think once you once you're down by this much, I, they were they were enjoying being the two three Noblesville, but now you got to put pressure on the ball. Yeah. But it's been interesting to see a lot of the bench players that come in here and are starting to make a difference. But you look, you know, for number 42 for the Millers, John Kaiser just, you know, was a rock star in the first half. Coming out of the halftime, Carmel knew what they needed to do to control this game. Absolutely. You know, and Ryan Ogden, you know, he's uh, yeah. he's got six points here tonight. Uh, Nick Mills got five and then uh, – of course, uh, Kaiser has 15, of, uh, but he had 13 at the half. The one that's really uh, set the world on fire is uh, Sterling Brown. He's got 11 points here. Uh. Yeah, we looked at the two key players of last night's game, which were Sterling Brown and Preston Flamion, and those again are your leading scorers. Uh, for yeah, the Greyhounds. Brown's uh, very, very impressive. I mean, he... Uh, he takes care of the basketball very well and uh, does a good, uh oh, somebody's asleep. Jenkins with the easy layup. You know, Jenkins has come in here and got four points right now. You know, he's a, a sophomore and didn't play the first half. Kaiser kind of, Kaiser, oh it's good. <laughs> what a nice shot, shot by Kaiser. Of course, this is a double zero timeout, I'm sure. This is what. Uh, 30 second timeout, Noblesville. Uh, this is what uh, Coach McCulley does a lot of. Uh, looks like we're going to see a new player into the Miller lineup. Number 30, Blake Taylor's coming in. He's a junior, six foot one. He hasn't been in a ball game yet. I think they're looking for maybe three point shooters. That may be what they're trying to get here is who can we get to shoot the three quick enough? Or, you know, shooters in general. Yeah. Somebody to put the ball in the hoop. <laughs> you know, Jack, uh, this will be our home for a little while because we're going to be here Tuesday night for uh, the girls' game. Uh, of course, Todd Winland's. Uh, Carmel Greyhounds are very, uh, very good ball club. And, of course, the Westfield Shamrocks, you've had. A Absolutely. I did have the opportunity to uh, call one of those games, and uh, they're undefeated still. Yeah, so. So yeah. we'll be here Tuesday night. It's uh, 730 for that ball game. So uh, you Carmel Westfield fans, tune in for uh, that game because it, it's going to be a good one. Yes, it is. That's going to be really good. Because we know Todd Winland's going to pick him up all over the floor. Maybe follow him to the locker room. That's <laughs> what. And you got a lot of seniors on that Westfield, yeah. that Westfield team. So it, it's going to be a very interesting. Wow. Travel. I was, was going to say. <laughs> Travel by Trenton Richardson. And it's going to be the Miller ball with 248. Looks like the Miller's doing some substitution here. Bringing the offense back in. So Plummer to bring the ball down for the Millers. So he's got his shooters in there. 
Now with the 2-3, you got to get the opportunity. Oh, Merchants off a long oh, three. Wow. No good. Fallender looks, gets it over to Brown. Brown quickly to Flamion. Flamion to Jenkins. Double double in the, in the corner. Kaiser drives, and it's good. So here come the Greyhounds. Inbound to Fallender. Oh, Fallender to, trap in the corner. to Brown, uh -oh. to Jenkins. Holds it. And we've got a reach in call by number 22, Mac. Flinch him. And I think if you're the Millers, that's the kind of that's the person you want to put some pressure on is the sophomore, number three, Cole Jenkins. And he's gonna actually looks like he's actually gonna go out here. They put Merriweather in. Yeah, Merriweather's a little bit quicker, a little bit more seasoned veteran. He's a junior, he saw a lot of action last year. Brandon Barthol coming back in for the Millers. Give him a little bit of size, so did uh, Blake Taylor, number 30. Nick Mills is back in there, so this is kind of the defensive lineup for the Millers. Wow. A lot of pressure on Brown, but Brown gets the foul. Well, we're under two minutes here. Miller's got a lot of uh, making up to do. So Brown's going to shoot a one and one here. The Millers are going to bring their offensive team back in. When did you ever think that basketball would end up switching off offensive <laughs> defense, huh? Uh, I, but I, a lot of coaches do it anymore at the late game, tons. late in the game. Mills, Barthol, and uh, Blake Smith go out. I'm sorry, Blake Taylor. Brown's at the line. He's been the man here the second half, to be quite honest, Jack. That's good. Yeah, he's really stepped it up this uh, second half. And he's got half. 11 points, and uh, he only had four at the half, so. That's good. So the Miller's inbound to Plummer. Greyhounds showing pressure. Kaiser drives, picks up his dribble, cross court to Plummer. Plummer for three. He it's good. It. Timeout again. Timeout, Millers. 43 36, minute 44 left to play in the fourth. Real fast, while we got this timeout, want to thank some of our sponsors. Want to thank Ivy Tech, Indiana Restoration Services, Church, Church, Hiddle, and Antrim. Community Health Network, Smith's Jewelers, Logan Street Signs and Banners, and Noblesville Trophies. Flamion with 12, Brown for with 13 for the Greyhounds. For the Millers, John Kaiser with 19. He's the only player in double figures for the Millers. We've seen a lot of uh, work from Kaiser tonight. Yeah, he's a hard-working ball player. And, uh, man, his vertical jump is unbelievable. He <laughs> yes. can get up in the air. Yes, he can. Well, we thought we had a highlight reel. Oh, Just yeah. Just missed that, that dunk. Alley-oop, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you know, you were talking about you don't see a lot of switching offense to defense. You don't see... Back in the day, you didn't see a lot of alley oops no, either. No. <laughs> Millers, Taylor, Barthol, Ogden, Mills, and Kaiser. This is a defensive group for the Millers. Of course, we're going to see pressure by the Millers. Inbound to Richardson. And it's a foul on Ogden, or uh, excuse me, foul on, on uh, Brandon Barthel. That's two on Brandon. And here comes the offensive side of the ball. Yep. Just guessing, I would say Trent Richardson would probably be a pretty good guy at the line. I shouldn't say that, but a 
a big guy, 6'8", sometimes is not a... No good. And there was a rock. So <laughs> <laughs> Over to Kaiser. Kaiser to Plummer. Looking for the opportunity here. Plummer picks up his dribble. Goes over to Ogden. Ogden back to Plummer. Plummer over to Fletch. Fletch him. It's good. Timeout Millers. Timeout Millers. Minute 23 left in the fourth. 43-39. 30 seconds. I know it's cool up here, but I think the pressure's getting a little hotter down on the Yeah, court. I think it is. I think it's a little <laughs> pressure's a little bit. Even the Miller crowd's getting a little fired up over there. Yeah. I think if you're Carmel, you got to make sure that you're, the people that, your top free throw shooters, which are probably, by the looks of it, one of them being Brown, yeah. probably Preston being one of your top ones, that's who you got to get the ball into with a minute 23 left to play here. Uh, I think last. Yeah, I do not think you probably want to pass the ball into Trent Richardson. No. And I don't mean that ugly. I mean, no, Browns no. did a great job here tonight uh, uh, in hitting free throws, and so is Flamion. So those are the kind of guys that you want at the line, and, and you want the ball in their hands. Right. I mean, it's just, you know. Well, and, and at any level, whether it's college, professional, high school level, your you know, point all guards the are probably ones, the better free throw shooters. You know, all, <laughs> and all the great ones always want that. I mean, yeah. the, when you, you talk about Michael Jordan, you talk about Larry Bird, you talk about Magic Johnson, those guys wanted it. They wanted the Kobe, you know, LeBron. They want the ball in their hands. Yeah. Reggie Miller was the oh, yeah. most definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I imagine Brown being the floor general tonight, he's kind of conducting the how he wants it. You see him right now. Pointing to where they need to be, where they need to go. There for the Greyhounds. They're certainly going to try to get the ball to Brown, I would say. Brown looking, looking. Gets it Flamion, in. Flamey on. Flamey on. Flamey on over to Fallender. Brown. See, Scott Hetty in that timeout right there, he had Richardson completely out of the play. <laughs> Ogden on the foul there for uh, the Millers. Fallender is going to be shooting a one and one. Fallender shot uh, a free throw early in the game and hit it. It's good. And missed one, so. And the second one's good. The lefty puts the second one in. So Plummer brings the ball up the floor for the Millers. Brown put a little pressure on just to keep the ball not moving fast down that floor. And they went out of that 2-3 zone. They're back into man. Kaiser. It's good. Down by four. Brown with the ball. Brown looks. Gets it over to Richardson. And they foul Richardson. The one person that you want to shoot that free throw, they got it. So Richardson. Somebody's got to be that guy. I don't want to be sound like we're picking on Trent Richardson. No, no. But somebody on that floor has got to be that guy. <laughs> and you know, just because we said that, he's going to make both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Double bonus here for Trenton Richardson. And the first one's good. We're eating our words, aren't we here, Jack? <laughs> on that? Yes. You said that was going to happen. Then. I know. Well, we're less than a minute here, 46-41. And the second one's good. With the Miller small lineup, they could put Oliphant back in there. You know, they got, they got the Greyhounds got quickness in this game now. Kaiser, pressure here, gets it over to Ogden. Ogden drives. It looks like it's gonna be on the floor. Oliphant, man. Uh, 
Miller's the inbound. Kaiser. Foul. Ooh. Oh. That's the one Kaiser needed to fall right there. Yeah. His leaping ability, but <laughs> don't you think that probably as the season goes on, people are going to key on that inbound oh, play right there? Absolutely. Miller's putting in, getting ready to put the defensive team in. And yeah, it looks like they have a small army over there. Yeah. <laughs> so in comes, looks like Mills, Barthel, and Taylor. Forty-two point eight seconds left. Carmel leads by five. Kaiser, no good. Gets his rebound. Foul on uh, Merriweather. Great job by Kaiser to get his rebound. So Miller's on the floor. Oh, they only got five fouls, so. Kind of a good foul there for them, you know, really. Oh, yeah. Over to Ogden. Ogden back. Dangerous pass, but over to Plummer. Come on, Plummer. You got to make. Plummer drives. Kicks it back out to Merchants. Merchants. No good. Off the foot of. Plummer. Oh. oh. Wow. Miller's got a break right there. Off the foot of Flamion. It's going to be the Miller ball. 26.7 seconds left. 47-42. Greyhounds lead. Richardson into the ball, ball game. Oliphant is going to be uh, on the bench here. I don't think they want to let the Millers have that easy pass to Kaiser in the middle of there, mm -hmm. so Richardson's coming back in. Yeah. Moving screen, you think? Is that what it was? That's what it looks like. On Ogden? Yeah. Uh, that's that's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, that, that was. Would be. So Merriweather is going to inbound the ball here. Miller's defensive team back in. Brown. Gets over to Merriweather. Merriweather, right in the middle to Brown. That's who you want to have the ball. Brown down to Richardson. Richardson. Back over to Brown. That's not the guy you want to foul, but you couldn't do much about it. Mr. Brown with 13 points tonight. And Brown makes it. So 17.1 seconds remain. Carmel leads by six. Carmel up, and it's good. Kaiser to inbound the ball. Gets it over to Mertens. Mertens to Kaiser. Kaiser looks, shoots the three, and it's good. Kaiser with the three, and it's good. Goodness gracious. <laughs> That's all you can say. Real quick, then we got a timeout here. I want to thank some of our sponsors with 9.6 seconds remaining. I want to thank Noblesville Trophies, Ivy Tech, Indiana Restoration Services, Church Church at Hiddle and Antrim, Community Health Network, Smith's Jewelers, and Logan Street Signs and Banners. Well, it's, Jack, it's definitely been an exciting game here tonight. 49-45, you know, in typical uh, Brian McCulley way, you know, he uh, he keeps it closed. Yeah. And in the fourth quarter, uh, he plays that offense, defensive game, and sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Absolutely. And tonight uh, he's had some success. Uh, whether we'll come out victorious, but uh, 
uh, it's worked. Yeah, I think on both sides you can be kind of excited to see how this season is going to go. This has been a hard-fought game, 9.6 seconds, really a difference of four points. It's going to be fun to watch the rest of the season, both of these teams. Absolutely. So what will we see with 9.6 seconds left? Well, they're lining up a little bit different here. Time, Time out, out, Carmel. Carmel wanted to see what the Millers had in their lineup there, and so good old chess matching, high school basketball. Can't be that between two great coaches. <laughs> That's always fun. It's always fun when uh, when we play. Uh, our Hamilton County neighbors that we know we're going to see some of the top coaches oh, in absolutely. the state of Indiana. Absolutely. No, it's been it's been good. Uh, you want to take a look at so far in the season? Uh, Noblesville one and one on the season. Hamilton Southeastern three and zero. Uh, we've got Avon at two and one. Brownsburg zero and two. Westfield zero and two. And Zinesville one and one. Very early in the season, but just taking a look real fast at some of the games or some of the teams in the Hoosier Crossroads. Absolutely. All right, 9.6 seconds left. Carmel leads by four. Carmel's taking all 30 seconds. And some. <laughs> so here we go. Blame me on the inbound. Looking for Brown. Gets it into Brown. And we got the reach in call. Foul's going to be on Ogden. And Brown's going to be shooting two. Eight point three left to go here. Richardson coming back in the game here. Put that size a little bit in the game. Mills, Mertens, Plummer, Kaiser. First one's no good. Flincham missed one. He had hit four in a row, though. He <laughs> yeah. So timeout, 30-second timeout called by Carmel. 30-second timeout called by the Greyhounds. 8.3 seconds left, 49-45. You never know what can happen in 8.3 seconds. That's true. A four-point lead could disappear real fast. Just mentioned here uh, by the public announcer, uh, public address announcer, uh, Carmel will uh, play North Central uh, on December 11th and then Pendleton Heights on December 18th. And then they'll uh, play New Albany, uh, which is – one of the top teams in the state of Indiana on uh, December 19th. And for these Millers, they've had a three-game road test. They'll have one, one more, uh, looks like, on December 12th against Anderson, at Anderson, and then they'll be at home on the 18th against Westfield. So Brown, no good. No good. Seven seconds, six seconds, and they foul Kaiser, which is a smart, smart move. They only have five fouls, so they got some fouls to give. And they used about three seconds off the clock. So. <laughs> the seconds is what counts here now, Jack, in, the, in this game. Plummer to inbound. Gets it to Kaiser. Kaiser shoots. No good. And with a foul with .1 seconds remaining. Nick Mills picks up his first foul there. Number five, 
And just to prove us wrong, Trenton Richardson's going to make another yeah, two. Yeah, he's going to make these two free throws. <laughs> First one off the rim. And the second one, no good. And that's the game. That's the ball game, but hard fought game on both sides as the Greyhounds beat out the Millers 49 45 here in Carmel. We'll be uh, just wrap it up here real quick, Jack. We'll be back here for a girls game on Tuesday night. It'll be Westfield Shamrocks coming into town 10-0 against the Carmel Greyhounds. So that ought to be a very, very good basketball game. Uh, two well-coached teams, and uh, we'll be back here Tuesday night at 7.30. Uh, tonight, uh, the leading scorer for uh, uh, Carmel, Sterling Brown with 15. Uh, Preston Flemion had 12 for the Millers. They were led by 25 points uh, from uh, John Kaiser. So Perfect. Jack Russell, Perry Williams, uh, Jim Walford, and Bill Walford, Walford yeah. will see you on Tuesday night here back here at Carmel.